Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you review of the Elder's Mark. And yes, it's way more powerful than you would think it is. It is indeed a Tommy gun, but not such a normal Tommy gun. It is way more powerful, way more powerful Tommy gun. It's the first Tommy gun that can compete with the Fixer. And now let me reveal all the secrets of this Tommy gun and show you the performance. So as you probably know, some of those new weapons that drop from brand new events can be cursed. This is a special effect on Elder's Mark, but that's not everything. First, look at that. With extra weapon speed, the fire rate goes up to 132. If we compare it to the fixer with extra weapon speed as well on it, fixer has a fire rate of 98, which means this particular Tommy gun has 35% higher fire rate, which is very significant. Now, let's go into the weapons workbench for some more informations. What are the key differences? The first one, Elder's Mark offer way higher ammo capacity, ammo capacity of 50 easily with medium quick eject drum. And why this one? This one offers the lowest AP cost. You can increase ammo capacity up to 75, but it will increase AP cost as well. And AP cost is a little bit tricky topic here as Tommy gun benefits greatly if you can get one with less AP cost. You can see that I have one in here and AP cost is four fully modified. So that's lower than the fixers. Fixer, if I will get fixer with the same one, it will be five. I don't actually have one with less AP cost here, but it will be five. If you have fixer, I mean fixer, Elder Smart with less action point cost, then you can think about changing this quick eject drum to something else as AP cost will be only nine. But personally, I would prefer it to be four. Four is super low. It is hard to get a perfect roll, but it will be so low. This one is quad, so quad will offer 200 ammo capacity. So on quad, you definitely don't need any other magazine. Medium, quick, eject drum is the best. Uh, other mods, of course, sleep like side, reduce AP cost. Recoil compensating stock is reducing AP cost. Short light barrel for less AP cost as well. Armor piece in Receiver, that's, that's a tricky one. Because in case of Tommy guns, or all the armor penetrations comes from the Receiver. So you really want this armor piercing one, even though it's more AP than other. You cannot see on this one but Hardened or Prime will offer lower AP cost if I select some other gun without lower AP cost on Legendary Roll. You can see that changing that, I can drop it to nine AP cost. So that's a huge difference, but sacrificing 60% armor penetration, that's too much. I strongly recommend armor piercing receiver regardless. What is your other goal? All, all those receivers will be inferior, even with this extra 4 or 5 damage. Still inferior to armor piercing receiver. Now, if you happen to have Elder's Mark that's anti-armor, so armor penetration, plus this armor piercing receiver and the tank killer perk, that's some insane amount of armor penetration. To be exact, that's 87% in total. And yeah, you cannot add it. That's not 110%. I have a full video explaining how armor penetration works and how much is too much. 87 is a lot. In some cases, definitely too much. As for a lot of enemies, 87% armor penetration will give you effective 
100%. And as you know, when you hit 100% effective armor penetration, adding more armor penetration do not help anymore. So there, there are limits. But if you don't have anti-armor Elder's Mark, you definitely pen benefit greatly from the 60% armor penetration. Now, to highlight the main differences between Elder's Mark and the Fixer. As you can tell, Fixer will have higher damage, but lower fire rate and lower ammo capacity. Which one will offer you higher DPS? It's really hard to tell without testing side by side Quad Fixer and like Quad Elder's Mark on something like a Colossus. Fixer as well, lower armor penetration than Elder's Mark, but higher crit damage from the Fixer thanks to Quick Automatic Receiver. So a little bit more critical damage. In regards to use case when you cannot go and use VATS, that's huge plus for Elder's Mark. Okay, let me demonstrate here how the spread looks like. And I'm running without Ground Pounder. That's additional benefit towards Elder's Mark. Can be used efficiently without Ground Pounder perk. That's the spread as hip firing. Comparing to the fixer. That's the spread as hip firing. Way harder to hold it steady and reload time is longer. Now aiming down the side, trying to hit the Nuka Cola bottle cap. You can see the spread. The same thing with Elder's Mark. Way easier to stay on target. Now, let me show you how well it performs versus some enemies. Oh, and before we go to fight enemies, uh, let me show you something very weird that's going on with submachine gun in general and what actually benefits greatly Elder's Mark. As you can see, submachine gun base fire rate is 75, which is the same as the fixer. But then, when you start adding attack speed effects, for example, there is a submachine gun with 25% weapon speed, it goes up to 107, which doesn't make much sense as that is way more than 25% if we count from 75 fire rate. So I don't know what's the base value that is being used for the calculations, but that is resulting in Elder's Mark going up to 132 fire rate, which is amazing. That's amazing. That's like 80% increase in fire rate compared to, compared to basic submachine gun, which is a lot. This is a lot in benefit of this gun. Additional benefit, of course, the cursed effect, higher damage than regular submachine gun. So not only higher fire rate as well, higher damage. And now we shoot some super mutants. Let's start with armor penetration, weapon speed, weightless Elder's Mark. And if you are looking for the best possible Elder's Mark, the most important legendary effect is weapon speed because this gun benefits from it way more than any other gun. So weapon speed, it's what you are looking for. Then less AP cost. And actually the last is the prefix. It's the least important. And all prefix like quad, anti-armor, bloodied, will benefit you a lot. But it's the least important. The most important, less AP cost and faster fire rate. As you can see, this gun has absolutely no problem wrecking everything. Its only problem will be a wretch. If you need to shoot targets that are far away, it will not be as powerful. And now let me use, oh, this is the quad. Yeah, that's the quad fixer. And only, I think I should be comparing it with a quad as any other fixer will have greatly reduced ammo. So quad fixer, it does put a lot of DPS as it is a fixer. We know that. But the thing is, it shoots so much slower that actual time to kill it's not so much different. Okay, let me use other Elder Smart, even if we go for a quad, which is 200 ammo capacity, it's more in line with a heavy gun, but it will still annihilate 
all those super mutants even if I'm just hip firing. Look at that. I can just keep fire. I don't even need to use VATS to make this gun powerful with a stealth commando build. It is an amazing gun. Elder Smart, you can main submachine gun. Then this day just come. You can absolutely main submachine gun. And it's amazing in VATS and outside of VATS. Very accurate and very fast. Look how easy it is even without VATS. It is amazing. I'm so happy this gun has been released. It is a real competitor for a fixer. You can run entire West Tech, I think, without reloading the gun. So that's something. And that's not a heavy gun. You can run West Tech easily. You don't need to reload. You reload between runs. So that's possible. And lastly, that's bloodied as well. Weapon speed. Even more damage. And even blood, it is 50 rounds. And reload is faster. There's more rounds, faster reload than with a fixer. Way faster fire rate. Way higher armor penetration. The drawbacks, lower range, lower damage per bullet. And this is Elder Marks for you, everyone. Let me know what you think. I hope you didn't scrap all yours Elder Marks yet. And if you have a perfect roll, I'm buying it. Let me know. Hit me up. Have a lot of fun using this weapon if you are commando. And see you in the next one.